the Gerber principle. Let's check it out. Guys, a good quality knife is essential uh, when it comes to whether EDC for every day or even for survival situations and all the things in between. And so having a good quality knife is just important. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Gerber principle. Uh, these are made in the USA. Uh, they're 420 high carbon steel and they're just that right size to be able to do a lot of tasks and yet it's still a fairly lightweight knife. Uh, over the years Gerber has farmed out a lot of their production overseas but now they've really come on strong with their USA made knives and that's really what I'm interested in. Uh, the quality of this knife is excellent and we're going to take a look at it. And guys, honestly, if you're going to get a USA made knife, they can be pretty expensive. It's one of the things that this knife has going for it is it comes in around $60, which for a good high quality knife, that's a great buy. And I want to thank Gerber for sending the principle for this test and evaluation. Now the Gerber principle again is made in the USA in Portland, Oregon. Uh, it's 420 high carbon steel. And it's going to give you decent edge retention, but it's going to be easier to sharpen in the field. And one of the big reasons is it has the Scandinavian grind. It's a zero degree grind, and so it's going to be fairly easy to sharpen. The blade has a cutting surface of three inches, and it is a stone washed finish. And then the grip is a rubber overmold, and man, this thing is so comfortable. And then you have these rivets all the way through so you can lash this to something if you want to make it into a spear. But it is full tang and that is super important, especially with a knife you're depending on. And it has a 90 degree spine, so that way you're going to be able to start fires, use your fire steel. And it has a drop point blade. The overall length is 7.5 inches and it weighs just 3.7 ounces. The design of the grip gives you a lot of different options. In fact, you can hold it baseball. You can do precision or you can do chest lever and it just seems to fit naturally in your hand. But what really separates this knife is the three different attachment points of the sheath system. Uh, you have a little velcro strap. You can remove this because really the tension on this is really very good. I mean the retention holds it into place and a uh, little bit of wobble but definitely solid. Uh, take it and just push your thumb right here and it pulls it right off. Here we have a clip so you can just put that right to your belt. Right here you have a retaining bar and so we can take that and push it through, pull this out. We can take this piece off then we can come in and put the next attachment on and that way you can ride this on your belt and you can have this in the vertical position. Again just take your little clip, your retaining clip, push it through and it locks it into place and it's not coming off. Then again velcro strap gives you that extra capability. This is great to be able to clip onto your belt and it really keeps it secure. And this is really the preferred way that I like to carry it. And then just the sheath in itself, we can attach it to any molly strapping. And it gives you security with two molly points. That looks pretty good on that pack. And guys, even the sheath is made in the USA. Now one of the tried and true Bushcraft's knives is, are the Moras. Uh, very, uh, just exceptional knife. These have been around for a long time, but it's a very thin blade. Uh, here we have a better sheath system. Of course, I've got this one wrapped in paracord, and this one does have the fire steel included, uh, but I do have options where it doesn't. But I think the sheath system is definitely a huge plus uh, with the principle. And guys, to be honest, just the blade geometry. I mean, it's much larger blade, and yet it's about the same size. Uh, and also, the Mora is not full tank. So um, while I really like the Moras, they're very inexpensive is one of the big things. But uh, as far as durability, I think that the principle has it beat. Now to get things started, let's see how it is as far as sharpness. Wow. <laughs> Man, that is super sharp right out of the box. And of course, we can slice. Look at that. It just bites into the wood. Then when it gets to feathering, Now 
there's something about this design with that Scandinavian grind, the zero degree Scandinavian grind that just really allows this to bite into the wood. Man, it just cuts this, cuts right through it. Yeah, I think I really like this so far. Now we're gonna try out some drawing. I've got this set into this palette. Yeah, this thing will do it. I'm telling you, it just bites into the wood. Anybody for some curly fries? Give you a better idea. We got some hard cedar here. Yeah, this draws extremely well. Let's try some of this hardwood. We're going to do a little batoning. Even through that knot, pulled it right through. Guys, I'm telling you, I love this blade design. The blade geometry is just excellent. It really does catch that area, that sweet spot. Just digs right into the wood. And that 90 degree spine is gonna be perfect for a good fire steel. Here we have one of the Exotac ferro rods and we have a tender tab. Go ahead and get it, see what we've got? Yeah, very easy. There it goes, one strike. Then we'll take some of our shavings Blades retaining its edge and looking good. So guys, if you're looking for an all-around bushcraft survival knife, uh, check out the Gerber Principle. Again, all made here in the USA. I love this grip. I mean, all the work I was doing, it never, never had any hot spots. It was very comfortable. And um, it's just that right blade size. So guys, if you're looking for a good, solid, high-quality knife made right here in the USA with a really great sheath system, uh, check out the Gerber Principle. This knife to me is the perfect size for about any situation. Uh, it's not too large where you're carrying something big and yet it's not so small that you can't get those tasks done if you need it. And so check out the Gerber Principle. Again, these are running about $60 on Amazon. Uh, and again, it does come in this FDE, but also in the black. And so you have a lot of choices. And again, I wanna thank Gerber for sending the principle for this test and evaluation. One of the best sources that I know is Survival Dispatch Insider. They use some of the top names in the survival community. We upload one video that is exclusive to the Insider every week, and we're just glad to be a part. Uh, I'm going to have a link down below in the description. Uh, I think it's well worth checking out. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. that a knife has it does come with a little velcro pull but you can okay. right here is a little uh, okay what is this carry called for an all-around bushcraft survival knife <laughs>